So we're up here in the box room and we're looking for box spanners. Mm. Now there's plenty of box spanners in um, in the Buck and Hickman books. Um, 1935 and we've got the reliable set there, haven't we? And there's quite a few in this uh, this but they come under box spanners look they're reliable and the ferret is here as well if we go a little further there we are see the ferret is up here but it's under its own name ferret and they got tubular box spanners hmm however if we go to this book was it mm, no this was this was a 19 what was this one again a local firm so on the doorstep and there's not a lot in here there's hardly the box spanner in here neither so this is a bit fresher because they look they've they've already converted to sockets but what i did see in this one was it in this one um what did we this one hmm hold on that's there for a reason i'll find out in a minute can't remember was it this one ah yeah look this one this was the 1960s was it hold on did we have a date here no 1940 this was the 1940s look and we see Akles and, pa and Pollock um, under their own name. Look, doing box spanners. No sign of the um, the silent one. Akles and Pollock again there, look. So, so we're, we're putting in we're searching through Apollo, we're searching through Akles and Pollock, and we're searching through uh, Apollo. So if if we go to the this book, which is again Buck and Hickman, this is the um, 1958, and here we are. We've got Apollo. We've even got the Chromo, haven't we? So we've got the finish and we've got the, the, the firm, but we can't seem to find that silent, silent grip, do we? They're not in here, you know. So you have to look under it under a silent grip, under a box spanner. <laughs> That's the fun of chasing these sort of, see? That's the fun of chasing, having the books, and chasing them through the book, through the books. But they are these. See, if they're dealing with Apollo, they must be dealing with. That's Apollo there. Look, Apollo. The box. We're well into box banner territory here. Um, and that's in 1958. Did we say? Yeah. And we've got another one here. What we're looking at, um, this is 1964, was this one? Yeah, this one's 1964. And we're still trading or, you know, still doing Apollo. Apollo is here, look. But no sign of the silent grip, look. No. But the chrono is here, the finish is here. We're trying to find a... Um, we're trying to find a... Uh, those silent... I can't seem to find those silent grip look somewhere. Hmm. Which makes it all very interesting. I love it all, you know what I mean? I love it all. Yeah, but King Dick and Brittall and 
it's, you can find all those in these books. Um, but this goes all the way. We saw the reliable set, didn't we? Where was that? That was in here. And we saw those big um, drills, didn't we? What was in here? There, are, look. Um, we've got... There, are, look, that was the set. We've got that set, haven't we? So it's great to find the actual set. Um, and then to find oh, oh, the date in the book, which that goes back around back to 1935. Look, so it's always well worth. I've got to say, though, oh, do you know, the other day I was in that uh, recycling place and the and the books. It breaks my heart as a as a ch as a charity. Um, how many books? have they had and these books have gone straight into recycling you know you and i if you're watching this you're interested in tools and and all that sort of a thing aren't you it piques your interest but how many of these books haven't survived and have just simply gone as a shelf on a cl house clearance and all these books are there oh i was almost in tears just even 66 this one was, wasn't it? I was in tears how many Buck and Hickman books have bit the bullet and gone into the recycle. There was tubs and tubs and as, an, as a nation, as a, um, you know, uh, America the same, um, you know, how many of these books have ended up just with another pile of books that's nobody sort of interested in, right, put that in the bin, well, not the bin, put that in the recycling. So they do some good, but, wow, how do we, how do we keep these books? You can't, I saw so many, it, okay, books have created a lot of employment, a lot of printers, a lot of, you know, but books are like dying a death how much work has, has disappeared because everything else now has gone on a on a computer screen and you know it's not the same is it it's not the same as having a book holding in your hand searching and looking and part of the fun of searching is you be, bump bump into other stuff don't you you're looking for something and then all of a sudden you see something else and a little a little light comes on in your head and goes, oh, look at that, and look at this. <laughs> That's why I love these books. Part of the searching, really. But I can't find anything at the moment on the Silent Whisperer. So the search, no, the Silent Grip, I should say. The search continues, the search continues. <laughs>